Well, welcome back, Witch Winers. I know it has been a long time, mm -hmm. and uh, you know we've actually been practicing social distancing for quite some time. Um, yeah, uh, this is not six feet, but whatever. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> so I'm pretty sure you all are aware that the Rona, mm -hmm. COVID-19. That's what we like to call it. I don't want to say coronavirus, because every time I, I say that, I think about Cardi B. Coronavirus! But, yeah. So, <laughs> practice social distancing. Yeah. Let's make that clear. Um, and stay safe. But... Anywho, we're here with a lovely wine, and it's called Liberty Creek Merlot. It is made in Modesta, California, and it ranges between six to ten dollars. So that is really reasonable. That's good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. um, this bottle of wine has also received many awards, and I'm not gonna really? list all of them because it's quite a few. But uh, so I'm just hoping that it's gonna be, you know. Pretty good. It's tasty. Yeah, because you know, we don't really do reds, and we had a lot of people say, Can y'all do more reds instead of, you know, whites? And so here, here we are. Is. Here we are. <laughs> here we are. Here it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've never tried this wine, mm -hmm. so we're going to give you our honest opinion about it. Um, but so go ahead and give some. You just cut me, just cut me off. I was, I was gonna, I was gonna say, go ahead and give them some, <laughs> some words. Yeah. Okay. So let me go ahead and give some <laughs> insight. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Okay. So let's give a little insight on this one. Okay. So this this Merlot is one of America's fastest growing red wines, and it's not as full body as a Cabernet. Ooh, okay. I know, right. Okay. That's interesting. Not quite as fruity as Chianti. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I like that though. It's I mean, not as fruity. Uh, no, I, uh, I we'll mean, you know, all red wines we'll, can't be sweet. So. Right. We'll see. This is going to be interesting. We might like it though. We might. We'll see. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. But this Merlot delivers rich flavors of ripe raspberry and cherry. I like raspberry, I like cherry. raspberry and cherry, but I don't know if it goes together. Well, no, it might taste like a cough syrup or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you yeah, know, it's used to it. But then again, it might taste like starburst. You know, I don't know. Mm. I don't want it that sweet, though. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. So, with a smooth finish that is especially pleasing, this wine is a great alternative to burgundy. Mm. I don't even know if we've even tried a wine. Burgundy. burgundy. Hmm, interesting. They yeah. might have to look. They might be next. They might have to look for one. But tell them what this pair of wheels, what this pairs well with. What this <laughs> with the pairs well. Hendrickson got me all off. Well with pairs. Well with pairs. <laughs> so this bottle of wine is made in Modesto, California. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. This Merlot's both flavors and smooth style make it a great match for meat, pasta, or a hearty vegetarian dish. It also complements more subtly flavored recipes like eggplant parmesan. That sounds delicious. It does. I, I just like the parmesan. I don't know about the eggplant. Maybe eggplant looks good. good. When you fix it. But I mean, okay. everybody does it. This is true. So, we're going to go ahead and pop the top on this bottle. You like how I said that? I like <laughs> it. Um, uh, uncork. Uncork, I should say. More probably yeah. pop the top. Yeah. Uncork. We're about to go ahead and uncork this bottle and give you our honest opinion about what it tastes like. I'm ready. Let's do it. So guys, we have poured our wine into our glasses, and uh, I don't know, it's it's kind of dark. It's a little you dark. You know, it's, um, it smells lovely, it smells sweet, it smells very fruity. Yes. I haven't picked yes. my glass up, but I'm just saying, I smell it already. But yeah, you can kind of smell it. Yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, it's burgundy, kind of like, I don't know if it's what the burgundy wine looks like, because... I've never tried burgundy, but I can smell the cherry. I can, yeah, mm. you can smell the cherry. I don't know if you can really smell much of the raspberry. Mm -hmm. Maybe the cherry, hint, though, though, a hint of it. We mm -hmm. might get to taste a little bit of raspberry once we do the testing. I'm excited. I'm a little excited too. I'm, you know, it, it's not bad. I'm, I'm just kind of ready to see. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah, nervous. a little nervous too. But uh, 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 we'll see. You ready? I'm ready. Let's, Let's do it. it. It 
it's actually not bad. No. You know, for a Merlot, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I would be quick to pick Buy a Merlot. Yeah. But this one is actually not that bad. I'm surprised because yeah, you know, I'm not a dry, dry red wine drinker, but. For this, I would actually say I would actually buy this. I would buy it too. I can see why they've been getting some of their awards. I know they got a 2013, uh, I think it was a bronze award for uh, at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Mm. So um, that's not bad. I can see why. I mean, because it does pair well with pastas and steaks and pork tenderloins like and so, um, roasted chicken as yes. well, from what we read on the bottom. But uh, I would, would you? put this in your collection or would you I would I think I would too I, would. I think this is actually a very good wine I think so too. and I'm surprised and shocked to say it mm -hmm. so if you haven't tried this one and you're looking for a red wine that may be pretty good and decent I think this one would be a good one to mm -hmm. try and see if you like if you haven't tried Merlot or if you are a Merlot fan this would be a good one for you so you guys go ahead and go try it out let us know what you think Go ahead and hit that subscribe button somewhere. It's going to pop up. <laughs> Y'all hit that subscribe button. And also hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss any of our upcoming videos for the coming week, months. I don't know. You know, we were in school, so we had to take a break. But since, you know, since Rona didn't happen, you know, we back on it. So, we were actually supposed to graduate this semester, too. But yes. since the Rona is here, graduation has been postponed. So... Y'all yeah, might see us on the next episode walking around this table in our pumpkin circumstance. Yes. Planning you know, back. It sounds like a plan to me. I don't know. But uh, whatever our producer want to do, you know, it's up to her. You know. So, but anyway, you guys go ahead and subscribe and go ahead and follow our channel. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.